Hi, you guys. So, actually, I would like to welcome you guys to my new series. And if you guys hear a lot of chinging and stuff in the background, that is actually Paris playing. She has her little charms on her neck, so um, don't mind that. <laughs> it's just Paris. So, this is my new series. It is called Diva on a Dollar. So, this is actually the foundation episode. So, before I get started, I would actually like to just tell you guys a little bit about what it is that I'm going to be doing during this series and why I started it and the whole spiel. So, when I start to get into it, you guys will ask questions like, what exactly is this? So, I can just give you the whole spiel on it, right? So, Diva on a Dollar, I started this because, okay, um... <laughs> I started this because, um, actually when I first started doing freelancing for makeup artistry, it was really, really, really hard for me to find, um, affordable makeup for darker skin. Um, because I was just like, couldn't find anything. Um, and I wanted to find something that didn't make people look orange um, didn't make them look ashy and didn't make them just like appear to be a oompa loompa and didn't like break it. So I really, really, really started looking for stuff, um, that was affordable and that I could put in my kit that I could do for my clients and that they could also buy or I could also use on them or I could go out and buy for them. And they could, you know, reimburse me, of course. Um, and, uh, you know, have that for them. So, Diva on a Dollar is definitely geared towards the makeup artist who wants to um, have a clientele or does have a clientele that is more geared towards women of color or people of color. Because I do not discriminate. I do men, women, everybody, okay? Transgender, everybody, everybody i do everybody okay um i'm like mac i do everybody <laughs> all ages all races all genders everybody um stop so she she's walking around here just doing the extra paris please so um yeah like i was saying she's very distracting too Cause she just woke up from a nap so she has all the energy in the world thank you paris by the way so i did want to buy did want to gear this tour and when i was first freelancing i couldn't find um anything in a price range where i could afford it and my mom thank you mom thank you if you watch this oh my god that's why i love my mother to death like she's always been my number one supporter um she would go out and buy me stuff um, to help me build up my kit. She's the one who really brought me my first kit and filled it up with every concealer foundation. She didn't know what the hell it was. I told her and we went out and brought it together. Um, she bought me my brushes, everything. So Diva and Adala is definitely, hopefully I can help people. I always see people under videos and comments and even on like makeup social saying, you know, I'm first starting out. What do you guys recommend or what is this? What is that? And it really inspired me to start doing this series on my channel because, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. It really made me feel like I wish like I had this when I first started out because, you know, I would really have liked the help, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just going to basically be showing you guys some foundations that I have personally used in my kit. These are in my kits. I have personally used these on myself as well. Um, These are low-end foundations. You can get these at Target, Walmart, online. I'll tell you where you can buy these and um, I will tell you how much they cost. Which is Paris, which is the plus side. She's stuck in her toy. She's stuck in her toy. So we have this little mouse on a stick and she's stuck in it. So um, I will start with the lowest foundation and work my way up to the most expensive foundation in this foundation um, stack that I have here. So, the first foundation that I really do enjoy, you guys know, I love this foundation. This is by Black Radiance. It is the Color Perfect Oil Free Liquid Foundation. 
This is in the color Cocoa Bean, but they have about six colors. So it ranges from tan, like it's almost like a um, caramel color to like a little bit darker than this. And this is $3.87. Not expensive at all. Very, very, very affordable. They even have powders and concealers. But this is another video. This is strictly foundation video, okay? The next one is, I love these foundations. This is the BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation. This is on their website only. This is $3.95. Now, I went ahead and brought every single color in this foundation because these foundations I would like to let me just show you guys these foundations are so look it's darker than me first of all I just want to show you guys how much color or like they have them in so many colors they're so blendable they're so soft okay and they have like this lightest scent to them they don't smell like oily or anything they have like a a fresh scent to them which i really 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 like um they smell really nice which i really like and you know you just put them on with the foundation brush and blend them out with the beauty blender they look beautiful so these are 3.95 on bh cosmetics website you guys know i love me some bh cosmetics powder beautiful right now the girl queen collection cream foundation i don't have that one with me but i have used that one for a really long time i ran out of it <laughs> i have to go restock it i love that one too it comes in a hue of shades that one also is a 649 i'm really sorry i don't have that one That one's really nice. Um, the next one that I do have is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. This used to be in like a little circle. I used to use this one. Um, the actual mousse though, not the liquid kind. This one's really nice and it's really soft. Um, I use this for my kit. As you can tell because, you know, this is not my color. This one is $6.85. It's really, really nice, and it's it's an airbrush finish. So, this one is a tad bit oily. I would not use this for someone who has oily skin like myself. But I would use it for someone who has a little bit of combination dry skin or dry skin. But, once again, like I said, you once you become a more learn more as an artist and a makeup lover you learn to what to do or not to do and plus if you you prime it enough and um mat it down enough it'll work any foundation can work the last one for this certain series for this episode shall I say um is the mon foundation stick now this one is one of my favorites like this is my personal one it was a, a long stick this is all that is left. This is an Earth 5. They don't have, um, this is the stick color. Now, this has definitely changed because I've gotten a little bit darker, as you can tell. But I think it's supposed to test it on this side. Yeah, I've gotten a little bit darker. Um, I The stick is really nice because it's very blendable. It's not oily. Oh, Lord, that girl scared me. It's not oily, and it's $12.99. It's the most expensive one on the foundation list. So I do also use Iman in my kit. Um, Iman's also come in loose powder, but like I said, that's a different episode. So if you guys would like to know any of the information, I will definitely leave it below. I will leave the prices and the names of these foundations. So, once again, this is Diva on the Dollar. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be back next week for another episode. Bye!